the brand's corporate face looks to have dabbled in CrossFit, the wide narrow tiger nose grill jutting out ahead of plenty of black mesh, new LED headlamps, and a new hood with twin hood vents. Side vents and sharp sills carve up the flanks, and side mirrors mount on the bodywork instead of at the A-pillar. In back, the deck lid gently curves upward becoming an integrated spoiler above elongated lead taillights, and a full-length rear diffuser houses four oval tailpipes. Inside, the dual-zone instrument panel boasts a large color touchscreen for infotainment, metal-accented dash gauges with red needles, and a small, color TFT screen in the binnacle for displaying tidbits like G-forces and lap times. Luxury touches include a heads-up display, an optional 720-watt, 15-speaker Harman Kardon audio system with two subwoofers, a driver's seat that can be had with air cell bladders for a snug fit, and lots of driver assistance systems. A little more than five years ago, Kia rolled out the GT concept, a sheet metal hypothetical musing on where the brand's sporting aspirations might go. Today on the eve of the Detroit Auto Show Kia unveiled the Stinger, the production version of that 2011 show car. While Kia Motors America says the Stinger really is a dream car for us, enthusiasts anticipating something a lot racier have sobered up over the distance between the concept and the production reality. Nevertheless, the new Stinger will be the sportiest Kia ever, and not by a little. True, there's a lot of Optima in the body, it's too bad they couldn't have made the 2014 GT concept, but details everywhere separate the Stinger from the bread on butter sedan. The Stinger's wheelbase is 4 inches longer than the Optima's, yet overall length is an inch shorter.